What you're about to see is just an excerpt of a much longer live stream that I did over on the Snipe Life's YouTube channel alongside Brandon Robbins and Durbania. I would highly encourage you to go subscribe to all of their channels because they have amazing content, but stick around right now and catch this short excerpt. I'm like rifling through all my. Clothes. Oh, look at that! Oh, yes! Hey. The Avengers have assembled! Oh my god! <laughs> this is the best live stream I've ever seen! Exactly. <laughs> hey there, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just stopping by for a minute here. Um, I don't want to name drop, but I've been in Italy seeing the Pope, so oh my God. I, need to, I need to uh, I need to spend time with my family. But uh, I wasn't going to come on because I, I just I thought it'd be cool if you guys talked to Daryl, um, and then Tyler Thompson, one of our writers, um, might come on as well uh, after me. Oh, he's here, so he, he's in the waiting room, so he'll come on when I'm done. Um, I thought you, it would just be especially cool to talk to him, just because, especially for the two Brandons. Um, who get really deep into the like historical and cultural context. A lot of that comes, I would say most of that comes from Tyler. So I thought it'd be cool if you guys talked to him, but I just wanted to say thank you. Um, your videos, all each and every one of you um, have done at least one or two videos that really impacted me significantly. Um, you know, Durbania, Chris Durbin, who we've now of course brought on uh, to the show to help be a host. I mean, he, he was, he, he did this well before The Chosen was cool and uh, was one of the first ones that I saw and was really saying some things that were so insightful. And the, the note, it was really when I started to go, oh, there are people who are seeing things in this show that we're actually trying to do. Like we're actually trying to have a deeper meaning. We're trying to do something that's different than the usual Jesus project. And uh, Durbin, you were one of the first people to notice that. And so it made me think, all right, we're on the right track. And then, um, Brandon uh, uh, Robbins, you've, you've done several videos that I've actually learned from. Um, I mean, we have some really great scholars uh, to access, but the way that you've put things and the order in which you put them and the, kind of the, the bite-sized, like you have, a, like, I mean, they're long videos, but you put them into like, sorry, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna try to hold my laptop here a little bit more still, but the way that you do that just really uh, is so accessible for people and accessible for me. And there's been definitely a couple of things that I've thought Huh, okay, that's really cool. I'm going to make sure I include that in the future. So uh, I really have appreciated that. Um, David, you did a video. I mean, you've done a lot of good videos. Um, but first of all, it's, it's it's nice to know that there's someone who talks and rambles more than I do. So that's been really <laughs> kind for me, David. Um, so that's made me feel better. Um, but you, you did a video after episode five, um, which we were experiencing a lot of feedback. Um, I, I always say, and I mean it, that it doesn't bother me when we get uh, criticized or hate or anything. It really doesn't. Um, but we were getting more than normal, including from people who were big supporters of the show, like investors even who were saying, I don't know if I can support the show anymore. Um, you know, you've really let us down. And it wasn't bothering me, but it was just, it was getting annoying. Like it was just, I, 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 that's too strong of a word. It was just getting like, like, um, I don't know, I, I kind of was running out of ways to express to people that I thought that they were kind of missing the point. And it just it was hurtful, not personally, but it was like, man, as someone who's grown up in the church and knows that there's never been a show of the thousands of shows on Netflix and Amazon and all this that is about Jesus made by someone who actually really loves Jesus and the Bible that you're going to stop watching, which I'm not sure I totally believe for most people, but you're going to stop watching it just because of these 10 seconds or 20 seconds that don't even uh, and you're coming to these conclusions that aren't even accurate that like we don't believe that Jesus is God and all that. It's like, man, such a bummer for the church that you would miss out on it. And David, you you gave like a five minute in the midst of the video um, explanation and defense of the show that I, I was actually got choked up watching it because it was so, it was better than I could have said it. It was so thoughtful, so spiritual, so um, loving. I showed it to my wife and she was like, she, she agreed. It was just so beautiful. And, um, and I, I just so appreciated it. And I, and it's, um, for for someone your age, especially to, to have those insights, it was meaningful to me and I actually learned something from it. So thank you for that. And uh, Brandon, uh, you and Vanessa, also um, your heart and your spirit and your passion. What I love about it is that it's not just fanboy and fangirling at all. It's thoughtful, it's serious, it's meaningful. It uh, is actually impacting people, it's teaching people. And uh, that means so much more to me 
than any kind than someone just doing videos like, you know, that, that are more surface oriented, um, that that just praise the show every time that you know, that, like you oftentimes see with other shows. So each and every one of you have blessed me and impacted my life, and I just wanted to come on and say thank you, and uh, and I'm going to let you go and and do, and do your thing. But I I see it, I hear it, it matters, it means something to me, and it means something to your viewers, and uh, this is what the chosen is intended to be. It's a it's a uh, it's a launching point for to get people, either who are already believers or who are on the fence or who aren't believers, to know and love Jesus more, and then they've got to go somewhere, and you guys are a bridge. Um, and a, a stepping stone to what I hope is deeper discipleship towards the Bible and towards church. And I thank you for doing that. And it means a lot. So I'm going to say that and, uh, and let you go. So thank you for having me and thank for letting you. me stop by real quick. Thank awesome. you. Thank you so much for those words. Yes, thank you, Dallas. Father, if it be possible, remove this cup from me. Father, I'm so scared, and I need your comfort.